Yo, what is going on guys? Hopefully you guys are all having a fantastic day. Now this might be a new series on my channel. And yeah, um, I'm not sure if I want to do this yet. It's sort of like G News in that way. Also, if any of you guys are saying that I just copied TGI, I did not. I literally thought of this video like literally the morning or the day. I think I was either it was today I'm making the video. So basically either this morning, the day that TGI uploaded the video. So do not say I copied him in any way because I literally got this video idea before he uploaded it. So I know this is kind of stuff that he has, but I literally was writing the script for this video earlier than he did. So, well, I mean, he probably made it before me, but before his video got out. So, yeah, uh, this video is also a collab with Zentra. So, Zentra is going to have some parts at the end. Um, this news, this is going to be a new new series on my channel, and it's sort of going to discuss the huge things and also many things that came out of the GD community. They're kind of unknown that I feel like should get more attention, you know? And, yeah, uh, let's get right into this video. Uh, first thing I want to say is that um make sure to go subscribe to zentra obviously get this video to 100 likes some more of these series okay actually maybe 80 likes i'm not sure yet all depends but yeah hope you guys do enjoy it and let's get into this all right so first topic is from off top event about 2.2 now you may have seen uh it's guitar hero styles video on this he already posted it i did not get to see it on time so i don't have the screenshots but if you see check out add these styles slash guitar hero styles video on this you can see so the first topic is that he had talked about releasing on the switch he's saying that it might work out on the switch by the way sorry about the background noise but he's thinking about releasing on the switch so 2.2 you never know maybe 2.3 it might come out he's rob top might release it to the switch soon which i find is really interesting um i don't have the switch but i might think about getting it i i don't know if even nintendo would even allow it so i don't know if this is going to work out it probably most likely won't work out because of nintendo how they only allow only like a few nintendo games mainly nintendo games are on the switch so yeah if this does get onto the switch that would be absolutely amazing i don't know if the community is going to be as big though on the switch because you know i don't think a lot of switch members are going to play gd anyway i feel like it's mainly sort of like a mobile app or pc steam app you know but yeah this is a pretty awesome and interesting concept by rock top uh hopefully we get to see this and check out more of these details soon all right so obviously i'm going to talk about this inards has been dropped about a week ago if you haven't heard already so since he kind of got really demotivated and kind of quit because it wasn't making a lot of progress so uh inards has basically dropped it and now it's inside the air for verifiers we got wooji on the move i don't know if he's really going to want to verify it though he hasn't really posted any more progress videos on it but so far wooji's doing it the rocks i also see is up in the air doing it as well so we're not really sure who's going to be the verifier this low uh, yet. I feel like it's kind of like Kai, uh, I forgot how to say his name. I don't really know how to say it. But I feel like he's probably just going to choose someone just by their records. But yeah, mad congrats though to Cincy on like completely just like allowing himself to do a lot more other stuff. Because I kind of feel like it's just boring just verifying one low for a whole year. It's kind of like all your time gone. So yeah, massive props to him, bro. And yeah, that's that's another thing. If you guys want to go try and verify it, it's up inside the air on Cincy's account. You guys can go try and get as far as you can if you're pretty good enough. Another amazing thing that has happened recently in the Geometry community is the Yananir. Now, the Yananir, about a week and a half ago, it was verified by Durami. So, Durami verified the Yananir. It's out already. Probably everyone's heard of it. It's already almost, it's already like the second most viewed video, the Geometry this month. So, if you haven't heard about it, that's surprising. But, Yananir is finally out and verified. If you guys want to go try it, you guys can now. It recently also got verified, but if you about a few days ago and yeah um i definitely recommend go trying it's an extra long demon if you really have a really good computer i would recommend doing it. if you have a crap computer or you're like you have a very bad mobile device i recommend not playing this because your computer will probably crash but <laughs> it's really amazing though definitely we already got a few people that got thrown at wushi already got uh 98 on it so it's really amazing so yeah if you guys got what it takes go and try it and yes, yeah, finally out. I highly recommend go trying it. It looks pretty funny. Also, looks kind of cancer in some parts, but yeah. Now this is a new topic. Obviously, I don't think anyone's posted this one yet. So basically, about three hours ago from when I'm recording this, Tartarus has gotten 91% by Molsey. So Molsey got 91% on Tartarus. 
I know, that's absolutely insane. I don't even know how he done this. I don't know how much attempts he has so far. I forgot to check the description, but he definitely probably has a few thousand, obviously. Probably tens of thousands, but it's really amazing. multi has been doing this, like, full-time now. He's been, he's got amazing progress. I feel like he's going to beat it soon, within a week or so. But definitely expect this guy to, like, blow up, because this is just insane. He's already almost there with that Tartarus. I highly recommend you go check out his channel. He, he's just already beating, like, the hardest demon inside the game. I don't even know how. But, really, mad props to him, bro. Absolutely insane. He's, he's like, the only person trying it right now. Maybe Meta Man Z, but he's not really trying to try it full time. But, yeah, make sure you go check him out. He got 91%. I'm going to show you right now. I'm just going to kind of, like, get you to, like, 91% so you can see his death. Uh, it's a good thing and a bad thing, obviously, at the same time. But, yeah, he's definitely making some amazing progress. Going to verify it soon. Check out his channel. Obviously, it's Mulsi. Um, and yeah, he, he's just doing this absolutely insane. I don't understand how humans even work these days. Like, how they're able to do this. But yeah, 91%. Absolutely insane. When I got the notification, I was like, holy crap. But yeah, mad props to him, bro. He's going to get that done soon. About 18 hours ago, Battle of the Shades has been unrated. Now, this is absolutely insane. We've been waiting for this for a while. Obviously, this is very controversial. I'm kind of like happy and also sad at the same time that it got unrated because it was actually going to get decorated soon and updated. So we don't know what that's going to get re-rated, you know? So definitely, Virus, I think he's happy and mad at the same time, but really, it's a new thing. I, I We've been waiting months for this, so Battle Shades is unrated, I guess. Um, <laughs> yeah, no more. It, it's absolutely gone, so... If you guys want to go check it out for proof yourself, you guys can go check. And yeah, let's get into the next subject. Now this is absolutely sad news. Mika is back. I know. If you guys like him, okay, but I just don't like him. But yeah, the clickbait god is back to Geometrash about a month ago. I didn't even know until like, you know, recently. I even checked his channel like a month ago and I didn't see him posted. So it's absolutely insane how a month just flew right by. It felt like yesterday. But yeah, the, it, he's back. Um... Yeah, um, 800k subs, I don't know how this is possible, but he's like the second most subscribed channel. But Mika is back, um, if you like him, cool, but if you don't, I completely agree with you. I, I don't know why he's back, but, yep, that, I guess that's it. Next, next topic. Now, if you have not heard, Wow by Trusta, not by him, but he's the Verithire. So yeah, Wow by Trusta. It's, it, he's already getting some pretty thought progress. Before Trust leaves the community, he said that he will verify this level. I don't know, he also recently uploaded a video on Nepa, Nepesta, I don't know how to say his name. But yeah, he's he might be verifying this, I'm not really sure. I, I kind of got confused, but yeah. Um, th wow, is he trusts his final well, so this might come out soon. It absolutely looks amazing, although the, can it looks, the gameplay looks cancer in my opinion. Although it does have a pretty good sync, but it does look really, really bad to play. So I do not recommend playing this low. Unless you have, like, very fast fingers and you like gameplay like this, I recommend playing it. But I would recommend staying away. Maybe trying it, like, a few attempts, but not, like, wanting to beat it. But yeah, really cool level overall. Hopefully trust the Darth it soon. And yeah, let's move into the next subject. Zenith. Zenith is an extreme demon made entirely by HJFOD. He spent over 200 hours and 11 months on the level itself. The level has over 200,000 objects and it is all his best piece and an overall masterpiece. This is to be verified by Golden and I wish him the best of luck. Fusion Z. Bunnygram is a very close friend of mine. He's been working on the original version of Fusion Z and has broken the world record set by Diamond Slash with 56% and his best run being 42 to 94%. Bunnygram's channel was also terminated and he's left with 200 subscribers at the time of this video. Everyone should go subscribe and support him and wish him the best of luck with Fusion G as he is the new world record holder for the level. Also, Infected Caverns has been verified. For those who do not know, this was a level made by Trix33 and Spam Drew. This is one of the hardest or if not the hardest level made on the 1.9 private server. This is an amazing achievement and he deserves much more credit for what he's got for this level. GG Spam Drew and hope to see more from you. Thank you guys all for watching today's video. I appreciate the support recently about the live stream problem, as you guys may know. Kind of getting a little bit bored of live stream since I've been doing it almost every day for a year now, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm hoping to get a better PC. 
Uh, but yeah, thank you guys all for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know inside the comments how you guys felt about the video. And if I left out anything, let me know inside the chat. Obviously, Lost Lock, but that's kind of a little bit outdated. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, if, any, if you guys want to join the cast, if you guys want to be part of this team on getting new information about Geometry Dash every single three weeks, obviously, contact me on Discord. And uh, I might allow you to join the thing so you can get a shout out as well. Shout out to Zentra for also helping me out. Link inside the description so you can go check them out. And yeah, obviously at the buy inside this video that I mentioned, make sure to also go check out their channels. Links will be inside the description and I'll see you guys inside the next one. Peace.